Another developing story, this one out of Portsmouth, Ohio, where a community is mourning after a high school student was shot and killed. A suspect is charged with murder in this case. Right now you're checking out some video from Antonio Millar's arraignment that happened this morning. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove spoke with community members heartbroken. A young life was taken this way. Neighbors disheartened over a senseless act of violence that claimed the life of a teenager. I can't even imagine. Friends of the 17-year-old shooting victim say he was a student at Portsmouth High School, was a great kid, and didn't deserve what happened to him. There's so many kids around here that's lost their life. Portsmouth police say a little before 5 p.m. Wednesday, they got a call of a shooting in an apartment building on the 1500 block of 9th Street. The teenage victim was found shot and taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. After investigating, police say they found the suspect, Antonio Blake Millar, hiding in a vacant, burnt house a few blocks away on 6th Street. Millar was charged with murder. Any questions? No, sir. So far, police have not said anything about a motive or whether the suspect and victim knew each other. It's not safe. Terry Pyatt lives across the street from where Millar was found. She says she no longer feels safe here. If I get in the house and we lock our doors and we have cameras and we have dogs, and we stay away, we don't know our neighbors, we don't do anything like that, but we're in the middle of moving because of it. I come down here a lot to board it, board it back up. Brittany Gibson's mother-in-law used to live in the vacant house where the suspect was found. I know there's been people coming in and out of here. It's really sad, like it breaks my heart that um, a kid's, their lives get taken. And it's sad, and it's sad that they're growing up feeling like they're in this kind of, in this kind of world. Community members devastated a young life was cut so short. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Portsmouth.